Mizzou lost to Illinois in basketball back in December. Today, the Tigers and Eli and I met on the diamond for Bragg and Wright's softball. Mizzou coach Aaron Earlywine was not happy with his Tigers performance. He said it was one of the most disappointing days he's ever coached. A doubleheader at Lindenwood University softball field. Nothing good for the Tigers in game one. Third inning, the Illini at bat scoring three off Tori Fanukin, the Tiger ace. Three nothing was the final. The Illini blank Mizzou in the opener. Game two late this afternoon. The Tigers falling behind three nothing again. Then finally, first runs of the day for Missouri in the fourth inning. Tigers tie it up with a two run single from Corinne Genovese. It's a 3 3 game. Then they really busted loose in the fifth. Six run, six hit for Missouri. Sammy Fagan shoots one to right. Taylor Gadboyce, one of the fastest players in the game, scores easily. Angela Randazzo put Missouri up 6 4 with a two run single. Then Mackenzie Sykes doubles. And watch the end of this play. Natalie Fleming hit to right, skips past the right fielder. Fleming will not stop. All the way around for an inside the park home run. Tigers split with Illinois. It wasn't that disappointing. Nine to six the final there. Number 16 Missouri is 23 and eight home to play Georgia this weekend. Rockbridge playing in Tennessee beats uh, loses to Arlington 13 to seven and Fulton falls to Boonville seven to four opening day for high school track and field. The annual Jefferson City Helias duel adding the Eldon Mustangs. Kasia Martin, three time All Stater for the Jays in the triple, long jump, and in hurdles. Martin winning the 100 meters hurdles this afternoon. Sarah Ryan of Eldon, two time defending champion in the high jump for Class 3. She won today's event jumping 410. Elias Lady Crusaders outrun Jeff City and Eldon in the 4x8 relay victory. No team scores kept, but they keep on running. High school soccer over in Ashland, the Southern Boone Lady Eagles hosting Stover. Lauren Mann. With the cross to Nikki Kleinheider for the goal. Southern Boone taking a 2 0 lead in the second half. A few minutes later, Alora Bosser fires from inside the box, puts it in the net. 3 0 Lady Eagles. Southern Boone wins it 5 0. Don't forget to vote for our Jefferson City High V High School team of the season. 16 local teams to choose from. On our sports page, we'll wrap up the voting Sunday at midnight. And announce the winner on Tuesday at stake. $500 check to the winning school's booster club. Rod's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Steve's Pest Control. We know Steve Hudson Pillar can eliminate the pests, but can he fish? We don't know. We do know that Nathan Butler can. First time fishing for Spoonbill, and he snagged two. In honor of our Discover Nature segment from the Missouri Department of Conservation earlier tonight, Nathan made it on Rod's Big Old Fish. Wheels on Wednesday brought to you by Head Kia Motor Company in Columbia. I had the pleasure of joining former MU kicker Tom Wheelahan for our weekly talk in a treehouse this week. Wheels, you have found an unbelievable location. There aren't many Kansas fans in Columbia, but somehow these people must be. I don't know if there are any in Columbia because that's not right. And we're at the Jayhawks Nest. Somebody painted it blue and red. And I tell you what, it's fitting that we're out here because the Jayhawks stunk this weekend. <laughs> they got knocked out in the first weekend. It doesn't happen, but I'm glad because I hate Kansas. And this is a Jayhawk treehouse. Kind of a cool place, but the colors just do not work. I can't believe it's not burned down yet. I can't believe the Tigers of, of 1590 didn't go over and, and burn this sucker down. Talking about the Tigers, how about Jaden Cox from Columbia here, state champion four times at Hickman, now a national champion as a freshman. He took down the two-time national champion from Ohio State. But the coolest thing was, I saw him on ESPN Saturday Night Wrestling. Then my boys and I went to the game against Southern Miss, right. and he came out at halftime to the loudest applause <laughs> I've heard the arena all year. I mean, he is the best. All right, let's talk about NCAA tournament. We're in the Sweet 16, and, and my guess is your bracket probably had all 16 of them there. I picked the Mercer game I picked the Stanford out of like Did you really yeah okay my brackets like in the East Pan is like 500,000 I'm like in the top five right now when did you fill out your bracket though like after the games <laughs> no <laughs> during the games <laughs> come on Rod okay well tell me this you've still got Michigan State as a national champion yes you're still alive Kermit had Coastal Carolina that's an art and design school what are you talking about <laughs> 
Zach had Wichita State. We all knew Wichita State was going to lose to Kentucky. That's why Zach does the weather. He doesn't do sports. <laughs> Teresa had Florida still alive, still the number one seed overall. Duh. You know, she was really a true Florida State fan. Yeah. But, you know, they're in the NIT. That tournament doesn't mean anything. So she had to go with Florida. But, of course, that's a number one pick.